everybody, welcome to another video and today I've got a menstrual cup comparison for you. It's been a long time since I've done one but if you want to check out any of my other comparisons and reviews you can do so here. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Juju Cup Model 4. This is um, an Australian brand, Juju, and this is obviously Model 4 which implies that they have other models which they do. But the reason that I chose the Model 4 is because it's specifically for low cervixes or um, shallow canals basically, short canals. And being a somewhat petite woman, I say somewhat, extremely petite woman, um, it's safe to say that I don't have an average size canal. So a little bit of a story as to why I'm not using my Lena cup anymore is this. Between my second and third pregnancies my periods never returned. I got unexpectedly pregnant with my third child, Orion, and I didn't know that I was ovulating, so I didn't have any, any periods and I didn't have any reason to use my cup again. My periods finally arrived again last March and when I went to put my Lena cup in, something just wasn't right. It wouldn't sit right, I could feel it, it was uncomfortable, it wasn't making a good seal, and I couldn't understand why. I mean, to myself, I haven't noticed any discernible change in anything, if you know what I mean. Although I've not given birth vaginally to a full-term child, I did give birth vaginally to Orion at six months, so it's possible that something had changed and I hadn't noticed, so I had to start looking around again. Now I went straight back to putacupinit.com, and their quiz is fantastic. If you're not sure about which cup to choose, I can highly recommend it, because twice now I have ended up with a cup which is just right for me at that given time. It was the same way that I ended up getting my Nina cup. So like I said, this is the Juju Model 4, and you'll notice that it looks a little bit squatter than most cups out there on the market, and this is because it is for low cervixes or short canals. And it's made of medical grade silicon, I believe, but I will double check that. So it has these like butterfly sort of grips and dot, dot grips on the bottom and it has quite a short stem. Now for me, not cutting off stem is something that I've almost never done with a menstrual cup. I used to have a Maluna shorty and I'm pretty sure that I didn't cut the stem off that but I don't have it anymore so I couldn't tell you. But I'm pretty sure I didn't cut it off. So it has a nice short, quite flexible stem and these parts are quite grippy. It has four suction holes which I think is quite standard. It doesn't say on it exactly the capacity but I will check and put it in the video. So yeah, it, in general it feels quite grippy. The cup itself is quite soft but what I noticed about it was that the rim is quite a lot firmer than any cup I've been used to before so that took a little bit of learning and you know, trial and error just to sort of find the fold that felt good to me. I used to use the sort of uh, the tulip fold or the punch down method. Is that the tulip fold? I don't know, but it was like the punch down method. I used to use that. I find I can't put this one in using that method. I have to go for a classic C fold like so. And then I can get it in. Once it's in, I generally don't notice that it's even in. And although it can hold a smaller volume of menstrual flow, I haven't found that to be a problem for me. But it may be different for you. So just to compare a little bit, I have my Lena cup here, which has, yes, four suction holes. And I had to cut off the stem because it was too long and it has these ring grips. So in terms of like together, side by side, you can see that the Juju cup is a little bit shorter. A little bit squatter and I'd say ever such a tiny bit wider. The Lena cup has that kind of classic bell shape where this is more kind of like, I don't know. I mean I guess it is bell shaped, it's just not as curvy. Does that make sense? Um, in terms of like actual width and things, you can see that the Juju is just coming up ever so slightly, ever so slightly wider than the Lena. Um, and the Lena, by comparison, is quite soft. This has a little bit more resistance to it. And then, in, just to further compare, I also have a Moon Cup here, which was the first cup that I tried and it was no good for me. You can see that the Juju is quite a lot wider than the Moon Cup. In fact, the Moon Cup almost sits 
well sort of inside it this is a moon cup size b um and this is you can see it's quite a lot wider than the moon cup there we go like i'd say that this is ever so slightly more firm but when it comes to the rim the juju is probably just a tiny tiny bit firmer so far i really enjoy using this cup um it took me a bit of getting used to just like any cup but overall i've been really enjoying it um it comes with a little cotton bag like most of them do and i'm not really sure how it compares to other short brands like the maluna shorty i kind of wish i still had my maluna but oh well perhaps you can go and have a look at my maluna video instead and i hope that for somebody out there this has been useful if you liked this video and you want to see more videos like it then you can hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you want i do a lot of different videos i'm trying to do them every monday now so stay tuned folks stay safe leave me any comments or questions you have and i'll see you next monday for another video bye